So welcome. Today's Friday, as indicated, it's uh, May 27. We have a big three-day holiday for most of the people in America. In Hawaii, we take five-day holidays. They love their holidays here. If they give you a Monday, they will absolutely take the Friday. No question about it. The employers know that. Um, it's just the way it works around here, and some people add an extra day to it. So they're real big on their holidays here in Hawaii. Welcome, Don. I'm excited that Don has just joined us. C. John, welcome, Da I. Welcome to you, C. John. Um, I think last week, C. John, didn't we do a soul reading for you on your, on your business? I forget what it was. But uh, you have to let me know how that went for you. I wasn't sure if that wisdom was a, of was a value to you or not. I know we talked about some pain for you. But I'm curious as to if uh, I offered somebody cosmetic guidance on their cosmetic business. And I want to find out how that resonated with them. I'm not quite sure who it was. Okay. By the way, if you don't have one of these with these um, stickers from Master Shah where he puts power into your drink, you're missing it. Good stuff. Okay, so we have a good uh, gathering of people for me to go ahead and get started. I thank you all for joining me. Hopefully more will come. <clears throat> so let us connect. We place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position with the left palm over the chest, the right palm pointed towards heaven. This is, allows the heaven's energy to come in through the right palm and then it goes into our heart center. That's the purpose of this soul light, soul service, hand position. So let us connect. Dear beloved, divine, Tao, source, all the way up to original creator, dear our spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah. We love you, love you, love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, and I bow down to you. I am deeply honored to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah. I am deeply honored to offer the soul and Tao-based wisdom to serve humanity and all these beautiful souls that come on the line today and all those that will come on the line after and watch. I invite all the souls to make requests for whatever you want uh, blessings for. Sometimes I will offer blessings, sometimes I will not, sometimes I will do special days. But regardless, whenever you ask for a blessing, you will receive on some level. We ask that all those souls that are present, the souls of their heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, please enjoy this as well. We ask that all of the healing angels, archangels, and all of those in the heavenly realms offer whatever assistance they can here today to open the hearts of all those that come on the line. I will start by a heart opening blessing. I will start with <coughs> using the Da I calligraphy. I will ask the countless saints, saints, animals, temple souls, and treasures to offer you a blessing. I will trace Da I in the air for all of you. Da I is greatest love. It is the best way to open our spiritual channels because greatest love opens our heart, our heart center. Our heart center is directly related to communication with heaven. So when we open our heart more, we open our spiritual channels. We can receive the messages from heaven with far greater success. So please receive. Dear the soul of Da'ai, the soul of the countless saints, saints, animals, temples, souls, and treasures, and all the Da'ai calligraphies on earth today. We love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, bow down to you. We ask at this time, as appropriate, you come, offer blessings to all those that are on the line right now with me, all those that will come after this video is recorded. Offer your greatest love blessings to open the heart and soul so that we have a wonderful session here today. Make your request. Also make note, if it is a measurable item, what the level of blockage or discomfort may be. If it is a measurable item, then measure it. We will check afterwards and we will check throughout this hour. Blessing begin. Da I 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 da Die, 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 die,
Dai 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 For those that have just joined, make your request Dai 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 Hao 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to the soul of Da'ai. Thank you to the countless saints, saints, animals, temple souls, and treasures that have come today through Master Shah's calligraphy Da'ai for your service to all of these souls. We ask as appropriate that you continue to offer your blessings to all those that have come on the line. Continue to offer your greatest love to help them transform whatever requests they have made through the entirety of this hour, in all cases as appropriate. So I want to talk to you a little bit about souls first. Today's subject will be how we can heal ourselves through healing others. We need a little bit of additional education on souls. There are inner souls, there are outer souls. Inner souls start with us. We have our soul and we have all the souls inside of us. Those souls include the soul of our soul, heart, mind and body. That breaks down even further. The soul is the, is the, um, the soul itself, the heart and the mind. The soul leads the heart. The heart leads the mind. The mind leads the body and the energy and the matter. Welcome everyone, welcome Cat Cat, Tatiana, Crystal, and Claudia. Thank you all for joining. 
So when we work with the soul world, we want to recognize there are souls inside as well as outside. The souls on the inside of the body, remember, all have the same purpose, which is to serve. Each soul has to raise its soul standing to incarnate into a higher level. It might become back as a cell, as it was a cell before. But it's maybe before it was the cell of your knee. Then it becomes the cell of your leg. Then it becomes the cell of your artery. Then it becomes the cell of your heart. Then it becomes the cell of an animal, and so forth. Each soul will go through a series of increase in its soul standing. And the highest service that you can offer to any soul is to educate them on their ability to wake up and increase their soul standing. So one of the ways you can do that for the souls in your body is to communicate with them. Every soul can hear. They can hear on the level that they operate at. So when we do soul communication, we are not limited by the physical world. In the physical world, there is a frequency range. We cannot see above this range. We cannot see below this range. In the soul world, there is no range. There's all frequencies exist at all times. So when we communicate with all souls and we ask all souls to come, certainly not all souls listen. But that's one unique thing about the souls inside of our body. The souls of our cells, the souls of our cell units, the souls of our RNA and our DNA, the souls of our fat cells, the souls of our brain, the souls of everything that makes us up has to listen to us. Master Shah discovered this and he put it in his Power of Soul book. And he discovered it when he was, uh, somebody called him in an emergency and they were bleeding and they couldn't stop. And he said, soul order, stop bleeding, soul order, stop bleeding. He gave a soul order. And it worked in Master Shah's case. Welcome Magdalene, thank you for coming. I know it was a little difficult, but I know you made it. Good job. Souls uh, respond to higher soul standing. Master Shah's soul standing is so high, he can order other souls. You, you individually, never order another soul outside of your body soul. But inside your body, the soul of every organ, the heart, the liver, the lungs, the spleen, the soul of every energy center in your body, the soul of the acupuncture meridian points, everything has a soul, the soul of all of the energy and matter that makes up your body is under your body body souls order. So your body soul is like the general and all the other souls underneath are like soldiers. They're here to serve you. But many of them do not have the consciousness that you have. They don't have the intelligence and awareness that you have. And you need to educate them. When you think about it, it's not that indifferent than having uh, you know, a huge soccer team, baseball team, basketball team, any team, you have to get them all thinking the same way before they can operate as a team. They come together knowing that they're part of the soccer team, but they don't know what their jobs necessarily are. You want to think of every soul in your body the same way. You want to give it orders and instructions. But let me ask you, if you were a general and you had a bunch of soldiers, you would absolutely give them orders and instructions or you might not succeed. But we live in a world where love is the number one thing that creates success. Love melts every blockage. So when we talk to the souls in our body, we want to offer the greatest love that we can attain. Why? Because when we connect with them with their greatest love, it could very well be the first time all these souls have experienced it. Imagine you offered the 20 players on your soccer team huge love. They would probably listen just a little bit better, right? Think of it the same way for the souls that are in your body. Every soul in your body wants to serve. It knows innately that that is its purpose in life. We consciously as humans forget that that is our purpose in life, is to serve. The souls inside our body know it innately, just like a dog knows to go bury a bone. It, it's innate. It's in its DNA. 
So they know it innately, but it's our job to remind them. It's our job to connect to them. It's our job to support them in their service. So we as human beings are made up of Shen, Qi, and Jing. Shen is soul, mind, and heart. Soul, heart, and mind in that order. Qi is energy, and Jing is matter. All life is made up of Shen, Qi, and Jing. But the Shen, Qi, and Jing in our body has a huge opportunity to become pure, a light vessel, a light being. How can we assist our body and all of the organs, all of the systems, everything that makes up our body to be more of a light? It gave me a time to take a drink while the frequency shut off my connection for a moment there. The answer is we talk to it. We connect to it. We ask all the souls in our body to serve. It's actually quite simple. <clears throat> Do you have pain in your back right now? What is the message you have been telling your back? For, for how long? I have a bad back. That's the message you tell everybody else, right? Oh, my aching back. Sometimes I hate you. The message is very relevant. You've heard this before, but I'll deliver it differently and maybe you'll get a, a new aha moment about it. There's a gentleman named Dr. Emoto. And what he decided to do on an experimental basis was he had the idea that water reflected uh, emotion, water reflected energy. So he went about creating a way in which water can be frozen and, and taken a picture of took a long, 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 long time just to get that part of it accurate. Just to be able to take a picture of a water crystal took him a long time. Then he started playing with words, emotions, fear, love, hate, loud music, soft music. He, he, he's done well over 2,000 experiments with various different things. And you might know this, but I'm heading somewhere with this. What he was able to discover was that the higher, highest frequencies that carry emotions associated with love make beautiful water crystals. What are you made up of? Water. You start out as 90% water, we dry out, by the time we're done we end up with about 70% water. So if we're made up of 90% water when we come out, it stands to reason that we're directly impacted by message. We already have it validated by scientific proof, visual proof that message impacts water. We are water. Water is in everything. Water is in the air. We breathe it in. Message impacts water. Water is in our body. Souls are in our body. The message we give each soul, the message we give the Shen, the Qi, the Jing, that makes up our energy and matter, that makes up our organs and systems, is held in the water. It's held at the cellular level, the soul, the cellular level. It is held right there. So when we teach our souls inside our body, when we teach them that they can heal themselves, when we teach them how to serve others, do you think the cell inside your liver is going to go down to the soup kitchen and serve somebody? No. But we can teach them how to serve in a different and very powerful way. And when we do, when we open their consciousness, we have elevated their soul standing dramatically. Each one of those billions upon trillions of pieces of energy and matter, Shen, Qi, and Jing, those souls, now have a far superior opportunity to elevate their soul standing because we gave them love, we gave them an education, we asked them to serve other souls, and in doing so, each one of those souls, which has a record, is getting elevated and they're a part of our soul body so what do you think is happening to the frequency of our soul body when we connect with our inner souls hmm? brilliant isn't it this is the teachings of doctor and master Shah. he has been saying this in many different ways this is one more way to bring healing to yourself by asking the souls inside you that are suffering to serve others. 
Now a base foundational teaching of Dr. and Master Shah is when we have suffering, it has a karmic base to it. There is a reason why. We have done some harm, we or our ancestors have done some harm to others in a different time. We may be aware of it, we may not be aware of it. The relevancy of awareness doesn't change anything. What is relevant is that we now know it and we have an opportunity to shift it. Those souls that have been harmed, when they go to heaven, they are given a choice. They say, we understand that you were harmed in this very harmful way. A lot of them died. Um, and we want to give an education and a teaching that everyone and everything is here to serve, to move higher. We want to move towards love. But some of those souls are so stuck in their pain that they just want to remind us of the pain we caused them. So how do we address that? We can keep our hand on our sore back and say, oh, I have a bad back and believe it. Or we can send love to every soul, including the ones that we might have harmed. So now we're gravitating towards the outside souls. I'm going to show you how you can educate your inside souls to serve the outside souls. And I'm going to show you how you can use the tools that you already have available to bring self-healing and to heal others. This is key. Your whole life, you have heard the sentence, in one way or the other, that we are all one. True, right? You have, haven't you? When you hear that, what is your response? Yeah, but I'm me. Yeah, but I'm separate. How is it that we're all one? My arms aren't his arms, my legs aren't his legs. Look at it like this. We are all one in that we came from that same place. and. When you, if, if, the, if the whole of everything was like a human body, and we set the human body off to the side, if there's a cancer inside that human body, it impacts, impacts everything in the body. There's no separation. The cancer, even though it's in one portion of the body, impacts the whole body. So we, as individuals, have to be collectively responsible. We could be the cancer for everything. We could be the one that's keeping everything from returning to one. Take that one step further. When we offer healing, blessings to others, especially and specifically for the pain that we're suffering, back pain, we're suffering back pain. Dear my treasures that I've received from Master Shah, dear the holy beings in this book, I'll teach you how to turn these things on in a minute. We'll use love, peace, harmony as well. I love you. Dear every soul in my body, the light, the, the souls that are not happy with me. Dear the soul on my sore back, all of the energy and matter, Shen, Qi and Jing, that make up my entire back. Dear the soul of every part of my body, I love you. You have the opportunity to increase your service to all souls and all you have to do is turn on a song that has been gifted to you by the Creator. Master Shah asked the Creator if he would gift this song to every soul and the answer was yes. So every soul in every universe, every speck of energy, every speck of matter, whether it's coagulated into an actual form or whether it's still floating around as energy and matter, has this song transmitted to it. The souls in our body don't know that. We educate them. Dear all the souls in my body, you have this soul song transmitted to your soul. As your body soul, I give you a soul order. You can give a soul order to every soul inside your body. You never give a soul order outside of you. But everything under you is like all the soldiers under the general. They are all the souls that make up my energy and matter. This is a soul order to turn on love, peace, and harmony. To chant, to serve all souls in all universes. Or, to be more specific for your pain, they are all the souls in my body, including my back. Please turn on love, peace, and harmony to chant to serve every soul of humanity that has lower back pain. Now you're not doing healing for them. 
You are chanting love, peace, and harmony on their behalf. You can invite them to join you. It's very important you understand this difference. You never want to force a healing on anything, and you never want to say, I am healing you. You are asking a song that was sent to all souls by Creator to do the service. You are asking it to do the service. So you state your verbiage as such. doesn't have to copy mine. Just say, Dear Love, Peace, Harmony, on every soul in my body. Serve all those souls that also have back pain. Very simple. You're not taking responsibility for it. You're asking it to serve. We're going to do that right now. We're going to serve other souls in relationship to our suffering. So, I am going to uh, drop a link into right now. It should show up in just a moment. And the words for love, peace, harmony. For those of you that do not know, okay? Mm -mm -mm. Give me just a moment. So I'm putting in, whoops, that didn't work. Let's try it again. <laughs> ah, technology. Okay, lovepeaceharmony.org, and then these are the words. Now, you go to lovepeaceharmony.org, and you see the words, or you can see them here, what I'm posting right now. So it should be there live, right at the bottom of the scroll. Yeah, I see it myself coming up there. Okay. These are the words that you chant. When every soul in our body is chanting to serve other souls with our blockage area, with our suffering, finances, relationship, business troubles, okay? This is how it works. Okay, so work with me on this. Put your hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Repeat after me. Dear all souls, that I or my ancestors have harmed for the condition of, list the area you need the most blessings in. I love you. Please forgive me and my ancestors if either of us have harmed you in this area in any way. Be authentic. I deeply, deeply apologize if we have harmed you in finances, in business, in any way. I, I truly am sorry. I deeply apologize if I or my ancestors have harmed your neck. I, I truly apologize. Be authentic in your request. I love you. Please open yourself to receive this healing blessing from love, peace, and harmony. So we've connected to them. We've asked for forgiveness. Next part. Dear the soul of love, peace, and harmony, soul song, downloaded to all of the souls in my body, all the Shen Qi and Jing in my body, I love you. Please turn on. Please radiate your love, peace, and harmony. Chant for all those souls that they can have healing for their area of suffering that you have requested. Now we chant for them. Visualize golden light, rainbow light surrounding those souls for their issue, whatever it might be. Close your eyes. Let's do this for, I'll set the timer for uh, a couple of minutes and then I'll do a soul reading as to the value for us. Let us begin. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, la, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Oh, ah, I was in early. Oh, I trun ran late. Wong Li Hing Rong, her mushu shong. Shong I ping on her she. Shong I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. 
Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Send them your greatest love. Lu la lu la li. Lu la lu la la li. Lu la lu la li lu la. Lu la li lu la. Lu la li lu la. Wo ai wo xin er ling. Wo ai chen ren li. Wo hong li ying rong er mu xie xiong. Song ai ping an er xie. Song ai ping. On the sea, I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Aloha, my own Hawaiian. Aloha, kako, apau. Epihili, my puvai kako. Aloha. Malie lo kahi, aloha. Malie lo kahi. How how how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gently bow your head nine times, with deepest gratitude, for this wisdom that Master Shah has brought to Earth, for the opportunity for us to serve souls with this wisdom. It is one of the hardest ones to remember, uh, and I say that for me. I don't want that to be your truth. You can say, "I will remember this, and I will serve other souls, especially when I have any form of suffering." I have noticed for me, it is difficult to remember this truth, and that's because of what's called Shen Qi and Jing blockages. Because darkness does not appreciate light. Darkness does not like. When light comes in to us to cause it to go away, and so I have to remind myself through teachings like this of the sheer power of this service. Now, one of the great powers of this is we can teach this to others in a soul power group. When we get ready to chant love, peace, and harmony for anybody else, remember to do a much simpler teaching of this. Just teach them. Let's ask all the souls inside of our body that have suffering for whatever you have to serve others by chanting for that same problem area for others. Simple. You don't, they don't need the big teaching I gave you. Okay, and then you chant love, peace, and harmony for others. Do yourself a favor though. Measure their suffering before. Could just be stress. They have a stress measurement scale. Could be high blood pressure. Could be pain. Could be a toothache. It could be depression, and they feel lighter and better. There's always something that's measurable. Have the measure it before you chant for others, like I did for you. So now, tune in, type in what value have you received from this? What was your aha moments? What was the value of this teaching for you, and what will you do with it to serve others? I don't need accolades. If you say anything positive, say it about Master Shah. This is just his wisdom that I am sharing with you. But do a share so that everybody that sees this at some point in time can receive the value、uh, by by reading what the posts are. I'm going to do a soul reading as to the value of this service for these others, and we'll see what that shares says as well while you're making your posts. 
First, I'm going to drink some water. My purification is a little better today. The last four or five days, my lungs have been purifying, so <clears throat> not as much today. Dear heaven, dear the soul of love, peace, harmony, soul song. Dear the souls that were served, dear the soul of this wisdom teaching. Could you collectively choose uh, someone to speak, to offer any additional insights and the value of this service here today? Thank you. This is a representative of all of the Shen Qi and Jing inside of the bodies of all those that we're serving here today. We collectively are elated to have been given the opportunity to not only hear this wisdom but to serve with this wisdom. I am told that about 70% of us were unaware of this soul song being transmitted to our soul. When we saw it, turned it on and discovered it, for each of us it was like a sun in the middle of our beingness. We are beyond measure grateful to the one known as Master Shah for being the one that delivered this to us so willingly, so generously. We cannot truly comprehend what we have received. We now know the value of it and we all vow to serve all souls with all of our hearts we ask that our owners those that are the ones that give us the orders to please remember us to invoke and invite us to serve we do not wish to be on the suffering end of a broken body part, sore back, or unpleasant emotion. We wish very much to transform these blockages to light. And now, for the first time ever, we have this awareness and this opportunity to transform your suffering with you. We are elated to chant for all souls that have any form of suffering, not only those souls that reflect the areas that we see as darkness. We are truly honored for this wisdom and opportunity to share. This is a representative of the Shen Qi and Jing of all of your bodies. Ha ha ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am always, always amazed by the souls that come through. I, I just, I cannot tell you how amazed I am by the souls. It's because I opened myself up to, to and it took years to, uh, to, to grasp that everything has a soul and to communicate with it, to give it a, a, a mouth, a voice. But after all this practice, the wisdom that comes through those souls is beyond my comprehension. It's truly uh, wonderful. Um, so thank you to all those souls and that, and that uh, sharing. So I'm going to back up a little bit to read the uh, comments. Tatiana, welcome Tatiana, thank you. This teaching and practice are priceless. Thank you, Master Shah, thank you, Master Paul. I felt good to send them love to help them to be liberated from the suffering. Yes, great Tatiana, you captured the wisdom, good job. 
So remember, you're suffering finances, who do you chant for? That's right, other people. Remember, Pat JD, thank you for showing me how to serve other souls with the same issue as I have. It's my pleasure. Thank you, Master Shah. RD, um, thank you so much, Master Fletcher, for sharing the wisdom of Master Shah with us. I am honored. I hope that the way I am sharing it is, is, is of value to you. Every uh, Master has a different way to share. So I thank you and, and I hope that it is serving you well. Kayla, I love doing this practice with others over Facebook and on the soul level. Thank you so much, Master Shah, for this incredible wisdom. Yes, I agree. Thank you, Kayla, for that sharing. Uh, thank you, Master Shah, Master Shah, Master Paul, for sharing and serving from your heart. Welcome, Gloria. <coughs> Went down the wrong way. Sorry about coughing in your ear. <coughs> I was trying to drink fast so I can return to you and take a little extra time so I'll learn from that one. <coughs> Kristen, thank you dear Master Paul for your sharing this teaching on serving others who are suffering from the same condition and asking of our inner souls to chant to serve more souls. I vow to serve all souls. Thank you. You know, Kristen has such a dear heart. She's such a giving heart. Um, so there's no question in my mind you will accomplish that, Kristen. Thank you. See, John, gosh, Master Paul, this was so awesome teaching. I know that all souls need to increase their soul standing, but it never hit me that all the souls on ourselves and the souls of all of our body parts need to raise their soul standing as well. Big aha moment. Yes. <coughs> Here's another teaching for you. I won't go too deep into it. When we receive a treasure from Master Shah, even something from the books, that treasure comes with uh, souls from heaven assigned to it so that it works. It's a tre it can't work unless heaven's with it and in it. Do you get it? It's a heavenly soul. It came to you. And so heaven's generals and soldiers are assigned to that soul that came to you they also have a soul standing. So when we don't turn it on and use it, they are not doing anything. They're just hanging out. They cannot serve you. Therefore, their soul standing is not impacted positively. So by turning on the treasures we receive, obviously we receive blessings. And we ask those treasures to serve others, obviously we receive blessings. But we must remember that all the souls that are assigned to assist us can only receive blessings if they have an opportunity to serve us. Yeah, amazing, huh? Dear Renee, using Facebook's live stream, I chanted the Divine Soul Song Love, Peace and Harmony in eight different languages by the ocean earlier today. Awesome, it felt totally great. I put the totally in there for you. <laughs> uh, when you chanted Love, Peace, Harmony today, I felt surrounded by golden light and it felt like floating. Wonderful. So yeah, hopefully the soul reading helped you all to better understand the happiness of all the souls that we enlightened with this uh, opportunity to serve. So the final teaching on souls is outer souls. Outer souls are those souls outside of us. Now there are souls outside of us that are lower frequency. There's are souls outside of us that are higher frequency. Stands to reason we don't want to communicate with any of the souls that are lower frequency. So we all come to this experience with a heavens team. And it is my understanding that the heavens team can change over time depending on our needs. So it's always of great value to connect with our Heavens team. It's always of great value to offer them your food, your drink, anything over time. When I first learned this, which was with Master Shah, um, I constantly forgot. I would bite into the food, forget, feel guilty. Next meal, bite into the food, forget, feel guilty. I cannot tell you how many times that happened, at least a hundred times. And I got to the point where I would put the food up to my mouth. Up, put it back down. Okay, offer it to heaven. And then I finally got to the point where I would offer it before I put the fork up to my mouth. Why do we do that? Because we're acknowledging 
that there are beings that have tread this path before. And the reason they're where they're at is because they have served others unconditionally. And the reason they come is because that is how they got where they're at and that is how they know they will get higher. They, it is naturally built in. It is part of their makeup. They want to serve. The outer souls that are of higher frequency are there because they want to serve. So we want to call upon them. We want to call upon all of them. The sun, the moon, the earth, planet, stars, galaxies, and universes have been there a lot longer than you and me. We've been here about a hundred years. They've been here billions. So they carry a higher frequency, a higher Shen, Qi, and Jing frequency. Call upon them. We already know to call upon angels, healing angels, archangels. We know to call upon our heavens team. But we want to call those other souls as well. The highest soul is Master Shah on earth today. The more people learn about Dr. and Master Shah, the more they will comprehend who he is. When you, when you look at someone that went from not being a divine channel, meaning he was just doing Qigong practices and teaching how to move your hands and four powers to achieve healing, achieving fourth stage cancer reversal, to someone that can say, clear the blockages, and in one word, the person recovers. To go from here to there means that he's been working with somebody pretty close to the top. And to have a soul of that nature on the planet today is nothing less than important. Why would heaven bring somebody like that to earth at this time? Why would he build him up the way he's building him up all these years? Bringing him slowly to the surface so humanity can recognize him. Why does this master who is creating miracles on the spot in the moment bowing down afterwards and saying, I take no credit, the Creator is doing everything, I am just an unconditional servant. And why does he teach us, all of the healers, the same thing? Don't offer healing unless you take no credit for it. Don't offer healing unless you give the credit to God. The reason why is because he's an authentic being here to serve. This wisdom is not for you, it's not for the next half hour, it's not for the next week, it's not for you. It's for all souls. It's called the Soul Light Era. This entire conversation has been about souls, connecting with them, helping them, assisting them, going outside of ourselves, which is a oneness thought, a oneness way of being. This is the foundational teaching that Dr. Master Shah has brought to earth since he came. Other great beings have brought it also. He brings it with the unique flavor of soul, and he teaches us how to apply it. So remember that you have been blessed to have so many tools available to you. It is our mind and our thoughts that inhibit us from receiving the full value of those. We all want to receive for ourselves because we all want to change the blockage area that we are suffering in. But if you remember the wisdom, to serve others is to serve ourselves. To serve others is to increase our soul standing on a natural basis. When we serve others unconditionally, just because that's where our heart is, heaven opens our Akashic records, throws countless flowers on it, and the blockages lift. When we serve others unconditionally, they reach into their records at the soul level. They take out their virtue and they shower it upon you in the form of a thank you. This is very deep wisdom and it's a wisdom that you can share with others. When they're suffering, you just say to them, let us serve others with the same condition. By the way, what is your pain level? And they'll say, oh, it's about a six or a seven. Great, let's do this. Teach them love, peace, and harmony, and then do the chanting with them and for them. And at the end, measure their, their uncomfortableness. Undoubtedly, especially if you chant 10 or 15 minutes, it will be reduced. I know it will be reduced. Don't guess second guess love, peace, harmony. It has amazing healing power. It will be reduced, and from that moment forward, that person who had never heard of this teaching before, their life will be changed, and they will start serving others. 
This is how we change the planet. This is how we bring love, peace, harmony to the planet. This is how we can make a difference in people's lives by bringing this song to them and teaching them these basic foundational wisdoms. So we have a question from C. John. Master Paul, can mothers ask the souls of all the Shen Qi Jing and their babies to turn on and chant? The answer is brilliant, absolutely. Because the moment the sperm and the egg touch, a soul from the Tao is given to that baby. So that baby instantly has a soul. The moment the sperm and the egg mate. And of course you know the cells re replicate. So you have all the Shen, Qi and Jing replicate. <coughs> okay, I'm back. I always pause when it stops like that. Um, and do that. Play love, peace and harmony. Sing love, peace and harmony. Teach the baby love, peace and harmony. Oh my God. That's the highest way to maintain the heavenly frequency that the baby came in with. I mean, they all come in with that frequency, but to be able to help maintain that is huge. Can you get love, peace, harmony into the maternity wards? Can you bring love, peace, and harmony into a nursery? Can you take it to a preschool? Can you teach the children to do this, to help humanity by chanting this song? Do any of you have those kinds of connections? Put them to work. Bring the music. Do not bring anything else. Bring the music and the words and say, this is in 28 languages and people are singing it to help humanity. Do you think it's something that your school might be interested in? Do you think it's something your nursery might be interested in? Do you think it's something that you might like to have in the hospital to help bring people off their levels of stress? If you have these connections, please use them. We must get this information out there. So, I would like to finish with a blessing. I will leave it to you if you wish to forward that blessing on. Make your request. This will be a silent blessing. Blessing begin. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the soul that came to offer that blessing. You may respectfully return. Welcome Vanessa. You came right at the end, 
so you have a chance to watch the hour episode, receive huge wisdom on the power of soul to heal yourself, to transform your blockages, and that is the case for everybody that will watch this moving into the future. I truly appreciate all of you coming. It, it opens my heart so much that you have all come to join to watch. It is a, a tremendous opportunity 